everyone, it's Mateo with Elegant Embellishments, and I'm here today to show you my design team project. Um, this is my second DT project for the month of April, and so let's get started. So I've been having a lot of fun um, coloring images, so I wanted to do something with that. Um, I'm just going to share with you first, though, what I've used from D's shop. I've used this wide panel lace. This is gorgeous. What I love to do with this is to cut it into strips and um, tie bows with it. I love that a lot. Um, I've used this gorgeous trim, which is like a tool um, background and pleated. It's pleated and then it's got this um, bling, mesh bling in the center. And the mesh bling is sewn onto it so it's really well adhered when you cut it apart. Um, I've used her baby butt trims which she currently does not have in the shop right now I believe but I've requested them so we'll see if she is able to get them back but oh, they're so gorgeous. Love them. Uh, I also used her Venice trim, her white Venice trim. Gorgeous, that's a tiny little piece I have left of that. I also used this bridal embroidered trim. Very beautiful, and her bridal embroidered trims are like double sided, so they both are equally beautiful on both sides. And then this is like Another one of my super absolute favorites is this heart embroidered trim. And I love cutting that apart and doing things with that. This one, um, I've really stretched out far with my projects, but I will have to get some more. I love tying bows with this and just doing different things, so I'll show you what I did with that. I also used, she sells these little wooden buttons in her shop, and I used this pink polka dot one there. She's also got that little heart one. I also used some of her pearls, and she's got those gorgeous large flatback pearls, and then she also sells the hearts in there. Um, ivory and white, and these come in a pack in her shop. Love those. And also this this is the last piece I have of this. Um, we got it in our event package and she sells this. It is her gimp trim and the quality is unbelievable. I love that. So that. And then last but not least, um, she sells these like uh, acrylic flower pieces. So I use the pink one like that. She also carries purple and she She's got kind of mixed pieces here. I also use like one of those. It's so really pretty. All right, so let's get started. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Okay. So here's my project. It is made out of a large white paper bag. Let me just see if we can go down here. So what I've done is I covered the bag with my pattern papers and then I just um, lined the paper bag with this pleated trim I had in my stash. Up in this corner I used a little white rosette that I got in um, my event package as well. I created these rolled roses with just one of my dies and put little pearls for my stash in those and I just stickled them. So they're very cute. I love them. Um, you guys, I was having such a hard time with this dye. Um, it was really making me upset because I was watching videos on how to make the flowers and for some reason I'm just not good at it. So I guess it takes practice, but there's that. Uh, just some bling from my stash. This little sentiment is from the paper collection. And there you can see where I used one of her little 
buttons and I just tied that with some crochet thread to make a bow. I stickled along the edge of that. And then behind here I just got a paper doily from my stash. This is a heart rosette that I stained with my um, distress inks and that is from D as well. Um, just punched a little heart here that I stickled and put some bling down the center of that. Here's my little image. I colored her up and stickled her tutu, her little ballet shoes, and her crown. And I love the um, curly hair technique that I did there. Uh, here I've just got some flowers from my stash and a little um, wheat spray, crystal wheat spray. Okay, and then here's where I used her trim and I made a flower rosette and just stuck a rosette in the center. So I loved that. It just looks so shabby. Another um, flower from my stash with these little berry bead sprays. Super cute. Another little crystal wheat spray. And then there's her baby butt trim. Um, it's like a minty bluish green color and I love that it just takes on the color of the project because it's so sheer. So there is the front. So this is like a paper bag um, embellishment type gift that I will be giving to a friend. So when you open it up, I've just layered some papers. At the top I used a die cut from the paper and just um, fish did a little fishtail banner. And then I stuck those blings from D on either side there. There's her gorgeous heart trim and the gimp trim. The gimp trim I used to hang my bottle cap charms that I created with the paper collection. And then I used this little bow to kind of keep them in place. So what you do is you can untie this bow and then there you have it. So you can remove your little bottle cap charms. But So this one I've showed in a previous video but I, all, I thought they all just turned out super pretty and my friend can just display them or use them on her projects as well. So really cute. And then I also created two flowers that she, I just stuck a little glue dot on the back so she can remove them and use them on her projects. Um, this lace here I used from D's shop as well. It's like a scalloped lace and it reminds me of like mermaid fins. I just love it. So I used the last of that and then I just twirled some of that um, very soft trim that she has into like a little rosette and used her pearl centers and the centers of those and I just thought those would be some little fun embellishments that my friend can add to a project like a card or a mini so that's really pretty and then this just ties up like so and I, I had this idea because I thought this would just be great when I'm shipping these charms that they don't like fly all over the place so that's just like that and then over here I just created a little photo mat she could put a photo there or actually you know I may write my message here I might give this as a card so I just use my on the edge die and my butterfly punch and then I just put a little pearl in the center of that one and down here I just created a little um, little bottom piece for the trim at the bottom of the card with Dee's gorgeous Venice trim and her pleated trim with the mesh bling in the center. Okay, And then so then this is the pocket of the bag and I made some more embellishments to go in there and I probably will add a couple more goodies as well. So I used my new punch and I got this idea from Archana and Elise here on YouTube so go check out their channels just for a little inspiration there so what I've done is I punched the edge there and tied some crochet thread around in a bow and just put a little butterfly punch here I used these gimp trim to cover the top of this jar and just popped up a little butterfly with some pearls Everything is inked with the um, vintage photo. 
some more of Dee's gorgeous skin trim, and this one is just like the other one with the um, crochet thread tied around that. And you could use like Baker's Twine or Jute or whatever. So there's those, and I love them because they're blue, so they look like the vintage um, ball jars, the mason jars. And then this one I did in cream tones, and I used that scallop lace from D. And I cut the top to make it look like fabric when you tie it around, like a jar. And then just use vintage buttons for my stash in the center there. So I thought they turned out really, really, really cute. Love them so much. So there's that. And those just go back in there. And then for the back here, I used some more of her gorgeous lace to kind of cover the edge. I used a die cut from the collection and just signed my name and did a doily for my stash coming out both sides. This was those little from that little acrylic pack that she has in her shop of those flowers. So it's a little pearlized pink flower and I just topped that on top of my triple layer crochet thread bow. And I just love that. It's so gorgeous. So this is my paper bag um, gift embellishment holder, and I thought it turned out really beautiful. Let me know what you guys think, and I love to see what you guys are up to and what you've been creating. Um, I just had a ton of fun with this. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Please go check out the other designers. I will link them in the description bar below. Also go check out Elegant Embellishments. She is adding new things to her shop all the time. So thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.